The powerful influence of Kevin Samuels lives on now more than ever. What a great relationship influencer and men's style expert Kevin Samuels was. He was an inspiration to many. It's going to be hard to measure how much impact he had on society, but God willing, five to ten years from now, people will look back on his life and realize he was a powerful in form as some of the most influential black leaders of years gone by. Time will tell. It's interesting that although I never met him as far as I know, he and I were close in age and I graduated from OU around the same time he did and lived in the Dallas-Fort Worth area during the same stretch of time he did. I still live here, of course, and coincidentally, I briefly lived in Atlanta back in 1995 before returning to Dallas to build a successful business here. I frequented some of the same black churches and restaurants and stuff he went and you know, other hangouts he said he did through the years. So it's very possible our paths may have crossed, but I'm, not, I'm just not sure. I'm pretty well connected with a lot of successful brothers and sisters in the Dallas area. But what is this all about? It's all about Kevin. What I am sure about is that he left an excellent fingerprint on this world like no other. He had a good command of history, particularly black history, combined with his, with his oratory skills that made the delivery of his message forceful, direct, and impactful. When strong voices have this combination, they will be a lightning rod of positive change to many, but controversial to those who love the status quo. What older gentlemen find rather interesting about his detractors is that we've been saying some of the same things way before YouTube, yet modern women and their male worshippers simply ignored us, yet still wondered why they couldn't find good men. Kevin even told his audiences on several occasions that he was verbalizing what has been said in barbershops and cigar lounges and other places for decades. So what made Mr. Samuel special? For anyone who understands how business and entrepreneurship works, you have to be ready when opportunity comes knocking on your door. When opportunity meets chance, you have to be ready to hit the ground running. Opportunity met chance when one of his videos, the average at best woman's video, hit Wallstar and went absolutely viral. For some, when this level of opportunity comes, they are not prepared like Kevin was, and thus they missed that once in a lifetime opportunity. But not Mr. Samuels. He had a plan in place, ready to execute for the next level of his, of his mission. He improved his brand after Wallstar came knocking. That's what we all have to learn, is that if you want to be successful, you better be prepared. When you pray to God for something, you better be ready when he answers, in other words. Today, we see from the outpouring of grief among his fans that he touched many lives with this platform. Many young brothers in particular have come forth expressing how he was the dad and uncle they wished they had growing up. Husbands have come forth saying they love their wives better because of Kevin. Wives have confessed that they got rid of the spirit of Jezebel and witchcraft, the ones we talk about here in this channel, that made them despise their husbands after Kevin showed them what real gentlemen are all about. Nonetheless, he was controversial to some, especially certain vocal modern women who have negative things to say about men in general. The spirit of witchcraft and Jezebel from them is absolutely disgusting to celebrate and dance on a man's grave, but I'll set that aside as I want to focus on the positive here. For those who think that things will come to a halt among brothers, you're sadly mistaken. As one movie once said, death is just the beginning. A lot of women have never really been forced to confront their ill-conceived ideas of men, especially black men until Kevin came forth or became the mirror they needed to see the man-hating monster they really are. Some women didn't like what they saw and changed their ways, which is good, while others, unfortunately, clutched their demons even tighter, lashing out at Kevin as if he were the only man saying what he said. They still don't realize, they don't get it, that when Kevin, that what Kevin said is true for the vast majority of us real men. 
It's just that men didn't bother trying to evangelize to these sorceresses because the vitriol was not worth sacrificing their peace. But Kevin took on that mantle and shield and confronted their demons like a priest doing an exorcism. And in the end, who knows if one of their spells brought about his undoing. What we do know is that not only will his legacy live on, but so will the message, because it was already out there among men for decades. But Kevin's platform has provided a catalyst to keep men boldly defending the image of good men, as well as no longer fearing or dreading having the conversations to improve relationships in a way that is mutually beneficial to both men and women equally. Pay attention, women. No more one-sided, man-bashing relationships. Those women who want to return to the status quo, the wickedness of the past, where men are expected to do everything while they do nothing but be spoiled in the title are over. Strong, real men who never really tolerated that nonsense before will really be more forceful and not return to the status quo. And now that more younger men have heard and embraced what Kevin and us older gentlemen have been saying for decades, it is a good thing for our community that finally, we can have good men and women come together to raise families as a solid unit instead of fractured and broken. May God bless Kevin Samuels in his journey. My condolences to his surviving family and friends. And may you be blessed as well. Amen. May men of goodwill everywhere live an impactful life like he did. Welcome to the Brother Apocalypse.